Hi, this is Mr. Knowles, and this video focuses on clock fractions, basically visualizing fractions of a clock. This goes with Home Connection 23 in our Bridges Math series, but you could use this for just understanding fractions in general. So I'm going to get started. Number one, Steve started reading his chapter book at 6.30 and stopped at 7.15. How many minutes did he read? Okay, well, I'm going to draw this out the best I can. I know that 6.30, the minute hand, is here. And it goes in this direction. <clears throat> and it stopped at 7.15. So I know that he read less than an hour because 7.30 would be an hour. So I know that it continued on until the minute hand reached the three. So I'm going to shade that in the best I can with my smart board pen. And I know that it's 45 minutes. What fraction of an hour is that? Well, if I continue these lines, I now broke this clock up into four equal parts. And I see that there's one, two, three, four sections. Three of the four sections are colored in. So the fraction's three-fourths. Is that closer to half an hour or an hour? Ooh, that's a tough one. Hmm. I'd say it's like right in between. But that's my thinking. I could round up to an hour. I could say that. I'm going to go to number two now. Excuse me. Complete the table below. Use the clock faces if they will help you. Okay. So I just have one giant clock face to help you see this at home. But on your paper, you have multiple clock faces. Fraction of an hour. One third. The three on the bottom means how many piece of equal parts are you going to break up the clock face? And so three. So I'm going to break it up into three equal parts. The top number, the one, the numerator, means how many of those parts is shaded in. So I'm going to shade in one of the three. And now I have to think of that in minutes. Well, I know that every number right here, the large number, that's five minutes. This is five minutes. This is 10 minutes. The three is 15 minutes. And when you get to the four, that's 20 minutes. So one third of an hour is 20 minutes. So let me erase this so I can do the next problem. Next problem is two thirds. Oh, it goes in order. Two thirds and three thirds. OK, so I'm going to quickly draw my thirds. This is one third. <coughs> Two thirds would be here, and three thirds would be the whole thing. So, looking at this, I see that three thirds is easily 60 minutes because it would be the whole thing. Two thirds would be here to here, and then I would shade that in. A lot of shading. All that is two thirds. That's two 20 minute sections. So that would be 40 minutes. Looking at the next set, it goes one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. Okay. 
So we're going to be working in fourths. So let's do that next. So to do something in force, the bottom number, the denominator, tells you that you're going to break the clock face up into four equal sections. One easy way to do that is to cut it in half one way, cut it in half the other way. Now I have it in four equal sections, and each one's worth a fourth. So that's one fourth. This would be two fourths, three fourths, and four fourths, the whole thing. One fourth. One fourth is right here. And that would be 15 minutes. So my answer is 15. It's 15 minutes. Two fourths. I would shade another one in. Two fourths. That's another 15 minutes. Two fifteens is thirty. So it's it's half an hour. It's thirty minutes. Well three fourths would just be another fifteen minutes. Another piece of this pie or face of a clock is another fifteen minutes. So that would be fifteen plus thirty. Which is forty five. All right, let's look at six. Six. The six on the bottom, the denominator, tells you you need to break up this face of a clock into six equal parts. I know there's 60 minutes in an hour. 60 divided by six would be 10. So every 10 minutes would be 1 sixth. And now I just have to find out the top number means one of the six is shaded in. That's what I'm interested in. 1 six. That's 10 minutes. So every sixth is worth 10 minutes. 10 minutes. The next one says 2 6. Well, if 1 6 is 10 minutes, then 2 6 is 20 minutes. So two of these would be 20 minutes. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, if 2 is 20 minutes, if I do 3 6, that's going to be another 10. That's 30 minutes. And it looks like now we're going to work in twelfths. So I'll erase this. And we're starting with, they have us starting with four twelfths. So the bottom number, the denominator, tells us we have to break it up into 12 equal parts. But what's interesting is there's 12 numbers on the face of the clock. So let's try that. See what that looks like. Is that 12 equal pieces too? I'm just going to quickly count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep. Okay, so, it works. There's 12 equal parts if I do that. And now I'm interested in four of the 12. That top number tells you how many you're going to shade in or look at. So I'm going to just quickly look at these four sections, pie pieces of the face of the clock. How much time is that? Well, every piece, little pie piece or section is worth five minutes, and I have four of them, so it's 20 minutes. It's 
20 minutes. <coughs> now I'm going to go on to 7 twelfths. So I'm just going to continue. There's another 5 minutes. There's another 5 minutes that gets me halfway around the clock. So half of an hour is 30 minutes. And if I go another 5 minutes, I'm at 7 twelfths. And if half an hour was 30 minutes, 5 plus 30, that's 35 minutes. I hope that makes sense with my thinking of this. You might have a different strategy for solving that. I'm going to let you work on those last two problems on your own. I think I've helped you enough. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.